Hello there, dear viewer, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. And in this episode, I want to show you where you can find information on AUV3 multibus apps or AUV3 multi IO apps. For those of you who do not know what that is, multibusing is when an app has an ability to either receive or send multiple inputs or outputs of audio at the same time. And if you don't understand it, I do have videos, multiple videos on how this system works. And I do suggest you go watch this one to get introduced. It pretty much covers what AUV3 multi IO is. <laughs> begin with this wiki page from the Audiobus forum. It was set up by underscore KI, so thank you so much for that. And I found this wiki page through an Audiobus forum post. So thank you guys for leading me to this wiki page here. Now I want to say that I don't think that this Audiobus wiki page is complete. And I think it is because underscore KI is working on this list alone. So big props to you, KI. But if you watching this right now, if you're an Audiobus for a member and you've got like this analytical mind like myself, why don't you get in contact with KI and give this person a helping hand? Um, I say it's a person because I don't know if it's a he or she. But then again, if I look at my demographics, it's mostly a dude fest. A lots of sausages. The reason to why I'm showing this first is because this is kind of what I want the list to look like. What I like about this one is that the sections for everything, they're so clearly marked out. Now, I've of course put the links to everything I'm talking about down in the description and also in a pinned comment so you can easily access them if you want to go and find some multibus apps. All right, so we're going to go to the next segment, but first I'm going to check the dog cam to see that everything is fine with the doggy. She's sleeping. Oh, sorry, I woke you up. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is a Google document. And this one, it's insane. And it's not just AUV3 apps or multi IO apps. This list will show you if an app has support for interapp audio or audio unit, direct links to apps, links to manuals if they're available. And here's the thing, if you wanna find an app that has support for the multibus system, well, you can find those marked with an M for multi. And so if you scroll through this list, you'll find loads of apps that has this M right here in the AU tab. This list is, it's a big list and I get lost when looking at this list, which is why I prefer looking at the wiki page over at Audiobus. But you know, I'm so impressed with the work you've done here, Bill, who made this document. And the way that I found this Google document, which I have linked to down below, of course, is through a Facebook group. It's called iPad OS and iOS audio units, audio unit version 3 AUA3. All right, so there is this person called Lauren who has been keeping an extensive list of just audio units. Now, this list does not really list if these audio units are multi IO, but if you just want to find audio units, then it's right here in this Facebook group. Well, there you go. You have at least two places, a wiki page and a Google document where you can find AUV3 units with multibus support. Now, if you found this video to be helpful, then why don't you give me a thumbs up before you leave and link to this video wherever you see anyone asking about AUV3 multibus apps. Now, if you want to support the work I do here financially, then why don't you go and check out my latest track, Humble Space Tail. It's only on Bandcamp right now and you can actually download it for free. But soon enough, it will be on every major streaming service. I uploaded it yesterday, and so it will take a week before it gets to, you know, Spotify and Deezer and all these other places. Yeah, so check out my music. I got a full list of links down below in the description. And if you don't want to do that, then I've got Patreon and PayPal. And if you don't want to do any of that, then that's fine too. So as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.